Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to take Mocha's 3D camera solver into After Effects. Now unlike my quick start video, which was into Nuke, this will definitely be After Effects and you will need a very specific plugin. But have no fear, I put the link in the description below to the actual plugin, not to Boris's site or anything like that where you have to sign in and unzip something. It's just the plugin. But it is for the PC version of the plugin, not the Mac. So if you have a Mac, you will need to download the Mac version, which when the prompt comes up in the tutorial that I'll show you, that's where you download it. So have no fear, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. So other than that, let's go ahead and get started and uh, I'll show you how to do this. Okay, here we are back in Mocha. For those of you who've been following me on these uh, new tutorials with the new 3D camera solve, you'll recognize this scene. I went ahead and solved it, so if you don't know how to do that, go check out my other videos. All right, so instead of going to Nuke, like I did with my Quick Start video, we're gonna go to After Effects. Now, if you try to take all these points into After Effects as nulls, which you can do, it's gonna take your After Effects to a, a blinding, slow crawl. So what I would recommend is you just take the points that you need. In this case, we're gonna take the stuff around this pillar here. All right, we're gonna grab, go ahead and grab this bottom left let's just go ahead and grab this group here our layer two which is this over there and we'll just grab the center as well all right so we know we want to grab those we go to our camera solve tab and export the camera data all right go ahead and select the after effects up here at the top as a text file we're not going to save it out as a text file we're going to copy the clipboard Make sure we go selected only. Otherwise, it's gonna, again, it's going to bring in all these points, which you don't need. Copy the uh, clipboard. Now, this is a warning. If you're using After Effects, you will need the Boris uh, plugin for this, which is free. You don't have to buy it, so that's a good thing. For those of you watching this video, I actually put a link in the description you know, where you can download it directly without having to go through their website and sign in your name. It's for the PC version, not the Mac. I'm going to repeat, it's for the PC version of the plugin, not the Mac, and you will drop that into here, into your program C drive, program files, Adobe After Effects, supported files, plugin, and you'll drop it right into here, and then launch After Effects, okay? So once you get this, you can click on don't show again. All right, and then you're good to go. Let's go ahead and go to After Effects. So here's our warehouse scene. All right, and then from here, we're gonna just go ahead and paste Mocha Camera. All right, if you've installed the After Effects plugin correctly, you should see this paste Mocha Camera. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and there we go. So as you can see, there is our nulls. Okay, and let's go ahead and reduce the size of those just so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so at these corners, the axis is at the center of the uh, nulls, not the corners. And then there you have it. There is our nulls in After Effects with a Mocha camera. Okay, and it's moving. Now I would recommend you lock the camera, oops, lock the camera, and lock the background plate so you don't accidentally move them. And at this point, you can go ahead and drop in whatever 3D element you want in there, whether it be graffiti or a sign or, or whatever, whatever you want. So if we go to split this view real quick so we can see what's going on here. All right, grab the orbit. And as you can see, there's our camera in relationship to the, the pillar beam. Well, there you have it. It's pretty much the same thing you would do with Rotos, except you're doing a 3D camera track. As you can see, there's really not much to it. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems with this whatsoever. But if you do, just message me below or comment somewhere, and I'll try to get back to you. So until then, I'll see you next time, and you have a good day.